Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to a special outreach update from Jerusalem, Israel. We're living in prophetic times. There's never been a generation closer to the second coming of Jesus Yeshua than this generation. We're not setting any dates, but we know that the time is near. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but for hearing the words of the Lord. We're living in that time right now, where Jews and Arabs are being saved like never before, and the veil is being lifted. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Recently, our ministry did another Bible campaign where we blasted the post boxes with Bible CDs with the Messianic prophecies underlined and contact information. Yad Lachim, the anti-missionary organization in Israel, founded the deprogrammed believers, is shaking. They continue to launch their campaigns against the Bible CD campaign, telling Jews that we're here to steal their souls. And they have a phone number 24 hours a day to be reached. If anybody receives these CDs, phone call them immediately. They're trying to steal your soul. Don't open your post boxes. Praise Yeshua. We've launched tens of thousands of these CDs all through the land of Israel and Jerusalem. It's backfiring on Yad Lachim because Jews are opening their post boxes. They're listening to the CDs and they're contacting the ministry. Yad Lachim's intention is to stop the gospel, but God is turning it around for good. And the gospel is going forth. We're seeing a hunger in Israel that we haven't seen before. Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. An Orthodox Jew by the name of Shalom Friedman from Jerusalem contacted the ministry. He said, I received one of your Bible CDs and listened to it. I've never heard these Bible passages. I can't sleep at night. I have unanswered questions. Praise Yeshua. Shalom asked to meet somebody from the ministry. I set up an appointment with Shalom Friedman in Jerusalem and went to meet him as the team were praying. I met Shalom Friedman in Jerusalem. We sat down. Shalom seemed very frightened. He was talking very low. He said, I received one of your Bible CDs in the post box. I listened to it, studied these Bible verses, and got very confused. I can't sleep at night. I then went to my rabbi and asked him questions. He couldn't give me any answers. It confused me even more. So I called this ministry. Praise Yeshua, there's a hunger in the Jews right now. They want to know who Yeshua is. They don't understand that the Holy Spirit is working on them. I told Shalom, what you're experiencing is what many Jews are experiencing right now. The truth is coming to light. I asked Shalom, which Bible verse are you speaking about? He said, Hosea chapter 13, verse 14. I opened the Bible and read together with Shalom. I will deliver this people from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Where, O death, are your plagues? Where, O grave, is your destruction? I will have no compassion. Shalom asked, I don't understand how God delivered us from the grave. This doesn't make any sense. When did this happen to Israel? He asked. How come I never studied this in the synagogue, in the yeshiva? He was asking these amazing questions. It was almost like the Holy Spirit was driving him. I told Shalom, the power of the grave is referring to hell. I will redeem them from death is speaking about the Messiah who conquered death once and for all, who freed us from destruction. That is what this Bible verse is speaking about. And that is the reason why when you ask the rabbis, they couldn't give you an answer because there is only one answer. And that answer is the one that conquered death once and for all. And this is the reason you can't sleep at night because God is speaking to you. He wants to deliver you from the power of death into eternal life. Shalom was listening to this. He was in complete shock. He knew the truth. The sleepless nights were about to turn into reality. Shalom then asked, where does it say in the Bible that it is speaking about the Messiah? 
I turned the Bible to the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 8, and read together with Shalom. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. He is referring to the Messiah will swallow up death forever. As you can see, the sovereign Lord, the Messiah and the Lord Yehovah are one. The Messiah is God. This prophecy is a compound prophecy. It speaks about the Messiah's first coming that already happened and speaks about his second coming. Shalom was hungry. He said, where does it say that the Messiah already came? I turned the Bible to the book of Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 and read together with Shalom. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed. This is speaking about the Messiah who died on the cross on the tree for our sins, rose on the third day, and by his blood, if you repent and believe, you have full redemption of sins and eternal life. And this is what the Bible verse is speaking about. He redeemed us from the power of the grave once and for all, as he rose from the dead on the third day, conquered death, and he's coming back again. And only those who call on his name, only those who repent and turn to him, will be in his kingdom forever. In the Bible verse where it says, I will wipe out all our tears, is speaking about the new heavens, the new earth, the new Jerusalem, Yerushalayim HaKadoshah. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. Shalom knew the truth. The power of the Holy Spirit was working on him. He said, this is all new to me. He'll be joining one of our discipleship training classes. I assured him that the places are safe. Let's pray for Shalom Friedman's salvation and that he will not be scared to call on the name of Yeshua, Jesus, as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, as he is afraid of persecution. I told Shalom, do not be afraid. God is with you. The fact that you call the ministry is not a coincidence. It's a divine appointment. I opened the Bible to the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, and read together with Shalom. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God loves you so much that he sent his son to die on the cross on the tree for your sins, my sins, and all mankind, all who call on his name. I know that you came here because you want the truth. And the truth can only do one thing, and that is set you free. So I read together with Shalom, Psalms 119, verse 45. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. And in Hebrew, the word for commandments is Toa, which means God's instruction. God is not searching for religion. He's searching for our heart. And once you devote your heart to him, you are free. Shalom received the Bible without rabbinic interpretations. We pray that he will continue to read and that the Holy Spirit will open his eyes as he joins one of our classes. Let's continue to stand together in prayer for Shalom and all those that heard the gospel and all those that received Bible CDs, that they'll come to know that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. Yeshua is God. We will continue to preach the gospel all through Israel and to the nations. Achikol Israel Ivasha, until all Israel shall be saved. Romans 11:26. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 13. I am bringing my righteousness near. It is not far away, and my salvation will not be delayed. I will grant salvation to Zion, my splendor to Israel. And in Hebrew, I am bringing my righteousness near. It is not far away, and my salvation, in Hebrew, my Yeshua, Jesus, will not be delayed. I will grant Yeshua salvation to Zion, my splendor to Israel. Let's continue to stand together as the one new man, Ephesians 2.15, bring the gospel back to Jerusalem and go home. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, 
sending you blessings from Jerusalem, Israel, in the mighty name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Al Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Yeshua, Amen.